Jason Christensen. I'm the president and CEO of Rigid Industries. We manufacture uh, for projection LED lighting, anything from a combine to a tank to an ATV to a boat. A uh, very diverse product line. It started as a hobby. I was uh, putting aftermarket product on to some off-road vehicles. I had a large pickup truck and one of my friends introduced me to a person that had some prototype LED light bars. My neighbor saw it, hey, can you do one for me? And I had just retired from baseball, so I had time on my hands. I started in my garage, uh, didn't have any idea that it was gonna become what it is today. Not being an expert by any means in, in lighting, electronics, I don't even know how to solder anything to a board. I just knew, based on my, my background, what I like. Um, it's crazy to think what I like would actually work, but it really did. I had, I had a vision on where this was going, uh, a new technology that, that I felt we could grow. Uh, we didn't need a lot of money out of the company to get it up and running. Part of uh, a fast-growing company, you can't do everything yourself, and you have to put smart people in the right places, and uh, bringing my partners on has really helped accelerate that process. And from that moment on, it, it absolutely exploded. And uh, man, we haven't looked back since. So there wasn't a lot of downside to what we were doing. Everything was very positive, positive, positive. So we really stayed pretty focused on what we needed to do in that niche market to make sure we continued to move forward. It was hard at times because sometimes you find, you know, uh, opportunities that may take you off your path. You really got to be disciplined to make sure that you continue to stay with what you're good at. You might start hearing from maybe uh, ag people, uh, farmers asking for a specific light for a specific project. We sit down as a team and we go over it. It's almost like a focus group where we talk about different products. What's the potential for it? We give it a rating. Um, if, that, if, it's, if the rating is high enough, um, it will go to the design phase and we'll, we'll do an SLA or a prototype and see what does it look like? How does it feel? What's the weight going to be? How much light output are we going to get out of it? Are we getting 10,000 units out of this in the first year? Are we getting 150,000 units out of this? What is our margin on it? Is it what the customer wants? Is it what we wanted? Is it a rigid product? Um, those are all things we take into account as well. When you have big companies knocking at your door asking you to design something, you know, a company like a Toyota or a John Deere comes knocking on your door, um, it's hard to say no to companies like that. But if we don't have the infrastructure set and we're not ready for that, it was going to make us fail.